Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name's Amy. Thanks so much for popping in and joining me today. Um, are you a beauty and makeup lover who likes to keep a list of things that you're using? Do you like to um, get rid of things and move things in and out of your collection? Well, I'm here today to talk to you about my 23 to pan list. At the end of last year, 2022, I made a list of things that I wanted to use up in 2023, and I came up with 23 products between makeup and skincare and body care and all of that that I had a goal to use up. I'm going to start first with the makeup type products, and I'm going to tell you what I have used up, and then we'll show you what we have left. And if I've used it up, I will pop a picture of it right here. So the first thing that I've used up is my number seven Lift and Luminate Powder. That's my very first powder to use up. I was so proud of myself and I feel really good about that. So now I'm, I've finished that up and I'm working on some other powders. I also used up the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist mini size of the setting spray. And I really did enjoy that a lot. You have to shake it up before you use it because I think there's like an oil layer in it so you have to mix the liquid watery liquid and the oil together it's a very dewy hydrating um, product and it's a four-in-one product so you can do setting refreshing priming and prepping <clears throat> sorry my daughter came in to sharpen a pencil so it's a four-in-one mist so you can use it for lots of different things I just use it as a setting spray it's very hydrating and very dewy so if you're into that kind of thing check it out. I also finished up my, um, it's like a little mini of the Clinique Black Honey, um, kind of like lip gloss lipstick thing. And that was fine. I wasn't super crazy about the color. It didn't last very long. Um, I don't, didn't really get all of the hype, but I'm really grateful that I was able to try it. Um, I used up this Benefit Brow Pencil. I think it was the Precisely My Brow Pencil. Something was weird about that. I was only able to use it for like two weeks and then it was gone and I don't know if it broke off and it's somewhere on the floor here and I just didn't realize that it broke off. So that's the definite no purchase for me. I'm not going to buy that again. Okay, I also used up my Bobbi Brown color corrector and that is kind of like a peachy pink uh, color corrector that I would use like, you know, here I have a lot of dark circles and bags and um, all of that so uh, I wouldn't buy that again um, just because I think I've said in another video you know I'm older I'm almost 42 and just putting more things under my eyes sometimes is not a good thing so it was fine if you're younger or you really like color correctors it was a good good product all right now let's take a look so at what I have left um, I do still plan to pan my Honest Beauty um, Cream Cheek in Rose Pink, and I'm getting pretty close. I scraped it mostly all off of the sides and kind of put it back in the middle so that that would allow me to be able to get the product out a lot better. And since I've done that, I'm able to use more of it, and I'm wearing that on my cheeks today. The next one is from this MAC Concealer Palette, and it is um, this shade right here. I had already gotten some good pan on it, and so I thought, you know what? I'm just going to add that, just that one shade, into my land of pan. And as you can see, I am so close to being done. I've scraped it around the sides, and so now I'm just slowly, slowly working away at it. Next comes from my Pan That Palette for the year 2023, and that is my Benefit Cheek Stars Reunion Tour. And from this palette, I wanted to completely finish up my Hoola Bronzer. And as you can see, I have repressed it, and it's crumbling everywhere. Um, and you can now see, like, pan again. So I'm doing really good on that one. And the other product that I wanted to pan and hit pan on is this Sugar Balm um, blush. I have a very good dip in the middle of it. And so I know that by the end of the year, I'm going to have pan on that one for sure. 
Next comes this e.l.f. Wow Brow, and this is in the shade, oh bummer, I can't read it, I don't know. Um, so this is a good brow gel, um, I do wish it had a little bit more hold to it, but I like, you know, for today I didn't feel like doing pencil either, I didn't want to do both. So, just being able to run this through my brows to get a little bit of hold and to kind of fill in some of the gaps for less than $5, I think, is a pretty good deal. So, I do want to use that up and I will probably buy it when I use it up. Um, another thing, hold on, <laughs> I plan to pan and hit pan on is a sample or mini size of the Bobbi Brown bronzing powder in the shade Golden Light. I used this as my sole bronzer for the month of February in hopes that I would really hit pan and I did not. So I will probably use it as my sole bronzer in, sole bronzer in April in hopes to be able to reach that goal. And the last product that I have and I plan to pan that I'm still working on is this Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Stick in the shade Stone. So it's kind of a taupey gray color. I don't really like the idea of shadow sticks. So um, what a viewer had suggested was to use it as a contour. So that's what I do. And that is really helping me to be able to use this up. And I know that by the time I update you guys again, probably in about three months, I will have that one all used up. All right, now let's go ahead and switch over to the body care things that I had planned to pan. And I will pop pictures up of the things that I've finished again, and then we'll talk about the things I am still working on. So there was, and I won't have a picture of it, but there was like a little mini like purse size of a lotion called Snowflake, and I was able to use that up. Um, the Laneige, a small, small uh, jar of the, the Laneige sleep mask in the flavor Berry, um, I used that up. Um, there was a mini of the Drunk Elephant um, Balm, I don't remember what it was, but I'll put you a picture. I used that up. There wasn't anything super special about that. Um, works the same as my Aquaphor, so, which I have not finished yet. Um, the Drunk Elephant Eye Cream, I used that up as well. It was just a small thing. The Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow um, AHA Serum, loved that so, so, so much. And um, I would love to buy that again once I work through some other smaller samples. Um, the Versed Cleansing Balm, I finished that up. I'm not, it was okay. It did its job. It got the makeup off. It didn't leave a filmy residue. But it does have a Noxzema kind of smell to it, which I didn't really like a whole lot. Um, and then I also used up my Pharmacy Green Clean Cleansing Balm. And I did really like that one. It did, um, that would be like probably my third or fourth favorite cleansing balm. Um, it did have a scent to it, but I did enjoy that scent. And um, all in all, it was a good cleansing balm. All right, there are one, two, three, four more things that we need to talk about and I have to go fetch them. So I'll be right back. All right, so here is my Laneige Sleep Mask in the flavor Gummy Bear. Um, this came in a set of like five of the different sleeping masks, and this was my super, super favorite out of all of them. It just smells really fruity, and um, so I use this just about every night, and um, the, it, the product doesn't actually go as deep as you think that it would, um, so I really couldn't tell exactly how much I have left, but I will have that finished, I'm assuming, probably in the next two or three months for sure. Another plan to pan, what I'm still working on, is this um, Ordinary, I got this for free, but it's a normal size, um, the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5 serum, and I have been using that, and not on a super regular basis, but I have been able to use it, and I am right there, so I'm pretty happy about that. Another thing that I'm still working on, but very close to getting finished, is this Aquaphor Baby 
healing ointment. I have to really like um, squeeze, you know, fold it over and then squeeze it out and press, press, press. I like to put this on the bottom of my feet and it really helps the um, dryness and the cracks and things like that in my feet to be able to not get quite as bad as they usually do. And the last thing that I'm still working on, which just yesterday got rolled into my deck of panning, and I will link that video for you below, um, is my Polish Choice Omega Plus Cleansing Balm. I love this cleansing balm. If you are looking for a cleansing balm that is effective quickly and doesn't leave a filmy residue on your skin or your eyes and has convenient packaging, look no further. You need this in your life if that's something that sounds really great to you. Um, so this is something that I wanted to use up and I have plugged it into that project and it will get used up. All right, so out of all of the 23 things that I started the year out with, I'm still left with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten things. So I'm more than halfway done with my little list and it's just the middle of March. So I'm very proud of myself and I'm hoping that by the end of this year, 2023, all of those things will either be gone or will have pan in them. Again, if you like project panning content, you should definitely subscribe to my channel because I've got project panning content every week. So if you like that kind of thing, click that subscribe button and go ahead and like this video and leave me a comment below to congratulate me on how effective I am being on using up my products. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.